Hassan called the city council member racist for I helping this woman move out of that. But you, but like, that's not a small streamer. That's a huge streamer. That's not a small person. Okay. I mean, Do you look, know what I'm saying? I mean, what are we going to get into this now? Uh, we're going to be like Trump with crowd sizes? No, but okay. But, okay, so but, our now, okay, but hold on, hold on, Anna. Hold on, okay, hold on. Democrats come out and push back against that narrative. So we're going to react today as Anna Kasparian and Cenk Uyghur get into yet another dramatic shouting match with one another. And it all began when Anna called out Cenk's nephew, a.k.a. Hassan Piker, over his response response to a lot of the recent migrant crime situations that you've seen across America, whether it's the Venezuelan gang taking over an entire apartment building in Colorado or the situation in Springfield, Ohio with those 20,000 migrants, which don't even get me started on that. So folks, if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. And first of all, here's a little bit of the context of what they're talking about, what they're reacting to, and then we'll get into Anna versus Hassan. It's pretty funny. I believe it was your doorbell camera video that we have been watching for the last few days of what appear to be gang members, heavily armed, trying to get into the apartment across the, the hallway from yours. Uh, what did you see there and how bad did it get in that building? On this particular date, it was it was really bad. Um, and but it is not by any means an isolated occurrence, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I have months, almost a year and a half worth of footage from six separate cameras. Earlier that morning, I had seen several individuals carrying um, assault, we assault weapons down to the next floor of the building adjoining mine. Um, and I reported it to the police. So all day we were nervous and on high alert anyway, um, because they told us that they really couldn't do anything unless something happened. And Wait. we were just waiting all day for it to happen. We knew it was coming. Wait a minute. You've got people running around the apartment complex with long rifles and pistols. You call the police and the police say they couldn't do anything about it? Mm -mm, they said they weren't coming. I still really can't get over how absolutely insane this situation is to begin with. And by the way, props at least to TYT for talking about it, because the response, as you're about to hear from Hassan Piker and a lot of other leftist content creators has basically been to deny the situation, to suggest that it's not real or you're just being racist or xenophobic. You know, you don't like armed Venezuelans taking over your apartment building with guns. No, no, no. You're just racist against Venezuelans or something. But we obviously know that crime is kind of a sensitive issue for Anna. So good for her for like talking about this. Let's get in now to the little TYT drama that's about to unfold. Yeah, that is outrageous. Uh, by the way, uh, some streamers have decided to smear the city council member who helped this woman who's low income move out of her home uh, into a safe place to live. Uh, and they smear her, the city council member, as racist because she is concerned about this crime that's going on. Okay. Yeah, you're concerned about people with guns taking over the place that you live? Just racist. How, how dare how dare you, you know? <laughs> now, Cindy also provided evidence of, you know, bullet holes around the building, uh, a bullet hole in her vehicle. So there's one example. This was in the building. And then uh, here she is standing with a reporter by her uh, Nissan. And if you look at the next photo, you'll get a closer look at a bullet hole uh, that her car uh obviously has as a result of the shootings and the violence in the area. So she has a bullet hole in her car. And Hassan Piker says that the city council member who tried to move her out of this place is just a racist or something. I'm very interested in that case to wonder what kind of neighborhood that Hassan Piker lives in, because I have to imagine or assume doesn't exactly have these problems. But of course, uh, you know, when he chooses not to live around that, then he's not a racist. But if poor people don't want to live around that. How dare they? It's just because they don't like Latinos or something. Folks, with an election year upon us, the economy is more predictable than ever. Markets can swing dramatically and political changes can impact your savings overnight. And that's why it's now the perfect time to partner with Gold Co. Gold and silver can serve as reliable stores of value, offering protection against economic uncertainty, inflation, and the unpredictable market shifts that can come in a time like this. Gold Co 
makes it easy to diversify your retirement with gold and silver IRAs, providing a secure shield for your future, even as other investments fluctuate. Their expert team can guide you through a quick tax and penalty free rollover of your 401k or IRA. And right now you can get up to $10,000 in free silver just for opening an account. So take control of your financial future right now at VinceGold.com. Again, that is VinceGold.com. Thanks to Gold Co. for supporting the show. All right, back to the video. Look, you can't fix a problem or solve a problem if you're in denial of a problem. And clearly there is a problem here and it's difficult to know the extent to which this criminal gang is operating in the area because it seems it seems like there's this real effort to pretend like it's not even happening. And I have a huge problem with that because right. I think that migrants who are here should be able to live in peace. They should be safe. American citizens should live in uh, peace. They should feel safe. And the idea that we should just allow this type of criminal activity to happen unchecked is ridiculous to me. Yeah, so I, I find both the leftist streamers and the cops infuriating here. They just won't go to protect those people. And I mean, you're and the left streams, you're looking for racial issues and you're blaming the commissioner who's actually trying to do something. How about the cops who won't protect the Latino and Latina immigrants that are there uh, that are asking, begging for help? So, cops, do your goddamn jobs. Your job is to serve and to protect. We have a culture of cowardice in our police departments in this country where they're taught, oh, don't, don't take a risk with your life. Your life is so much more important than the citizens. Don't, don't take a risk, don't take a risk. Oh, they uh, took over an apartment or an apartment building or, or half the apartment building, whatever it is. Ah, ah, it's a bunch of migrants that live there, who cares? And now left extremists, you're not supposed to do the same thing. So here, Octo Squid, he's a member on uh, Twitch, has a good- And by the way, that's a largely valid point by Chink. Why did law enforcement not step in and do something? And they said they weren't gonna do anything until something happened. Something already did happen. You had Venezuelan, largely illegal immigrants taking over a building with guns. Many crimes have already been committed. It was pretty clear something was going to happen. And in fairness, I don't necessarily think it's the individual cops. I think it has to do a lot with the leadership structure the decisions were made, but yes, it is a completely valid point. Where was law enforcement? Were they ordered to stand down? I don't know. These are all questions that should be asked. But again, according to people like Hassan, as you are about to hear, uh, it would have been racist for the cops to step in there and protect ordinary citizens from armed gang members with guns. Good question. Jake and Anna, please tell us who the left is that you keep referring to and never defining. I'd really like to know as a self ascribed leftist. No problem. Because that we do that sometimes on the show, you don't know what we're referring to. Do we mean the whole left wing? Absolutely not. Okay, the majority of the left wing is perfectly reasonable on this. Are we, they? Uh, you Anna, and I might have a disagreement here, Jake. Yeah, we have a massive disagreement. You okay. you give those tiny little leftist streamers way too much. They're credit. not tiny little leftist streamers. Jank Hassan called the city council member racist for I helping this woman move out of that. But you but like that's not a small streamer. That's a huge streamer. That's not a small person. Okay, I mean, do you look, know what uh, I'm saying? I mean, what are we going to get into this now? Uh, we're going to be like Trump with crowd no, sizes. No, but okay, but okay, so but our now, okay, but hold on, hold on, Anna, taken, hold on, okay, hold but on. The Democrats come out and push back against that narrative, Jank. No. Just the mainstream Democratic Party. Do they come forward? and push back against that narrative. Because you have the Democratic governor denying all of this. So I don't know who on the left wants to do something about it. Anna, look, you have to be specific. Okay, I'm so glad Octo Squiddy's asked that question because we have to be specific about who we're talking about. So if you're saying, uh, oh, well, you know, Hassan or some other leftist streamer is, is big, so that counts. Well, TYT Network is much, much larger. So, okay, we win, we represent the left. So what we can play this game all day long, all day long. C come at me, 400 million views per month. So we definitely represent the left more than any streamer, no matter how popular they are, pretending to speak for the left, never showing any polling, never showing any facts, never showing anything about how they pre pre represent left-wing voters in this country. And if you so there you have Cenk Uyghur casually referring to his own family member as irrelevant, which is pretty funny. But on top of that, I think the point that Anna is making is not that people like Hassan Piker represent every liberal or leftist. The point is that 
they are people with influence and it is perfectly okay to call that out i don't understand why chenk is so pressed i don't know maybe because it's his own family i yeah i understand that honestly i do but why he's so pressed that Anna is making a point to call this out because yes, there are people on the left of decent influence. I'm not saying they're as big as TYT, okay? You know, my old nephew's irrelevant. Okay, fair enough. But still, there are leftists of relatively large audiences. Hassan does have one that are downplaying this and they're they're saying the things they're saying about this. So you tell me Democratic politicians are doing the wrong thing. That's called Tuesday. Democratic politicians and Republican politicians almost always do the wrong thing here. So we have a collaboration here from the Republican mayor, the Democratic governor, Democratic president, the local cops. They're all like, I don't want this problem. Who cares? A bunch of working class Latinos are having a problem. Who cares? Just ignore it, right? So so don't talk to me about the Democratic Party. We're not, what I'm talking about is the great majority of left-wing voters are, of course, normal real Americans who don't want crime. That's so obvious. Then why do they keep voting for it though? Probably true, I'm not really denying them. Why do they keep voting for it? You know, I'm from California. Everyone I know complains about homelessness, complains about crime, complains about Gavin Newsom very often, but I can't vote for a Republican now. So I don't know, interesting questions, but. Only the craziest leftist streamers or like, oh, there's no crime, there's no crime, there's no crime at all, there's no crime. If you ever mention crime, oh, you're a white winger, or you're a right winger. It's a ludicrous. You show the bullet holes, you show the guys taking over the apartment buildings, you show the residents, you show a giant report about how uh, they have in fact taken over apartments and done extortion, etc. And they're like, no, 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 no. There's never any crime, and crime is awesome, and there's nothing wrong with crime, and you guys shouldn't be worried about it. That does that, you know how, what percentage of actual human beings believe that? Like maximum 2%. 98% of Probably, left wing yeah. voters do not want Venezuelan criminal gangs or American criminal gangs taking over the apartments of working class people who are just trying to survive in this country. So let's be accurate about who we're criticizing, but it definitely isn't the left wing voters. Yeah, no, I don't think it's the voters either. Uh, I think it's people with microphones. I think that it's to some level uh, elected lawmakers as well, both on a local, state, and federal level. But I, I agree with you on the voters. Of course, people don't want to live like. So there, you saw Chenk kind of agreeing with Anna at the end. He insinuated that his. <laughs> I don't know why. Is there beef or something? I'm not really familiar. But he kind of insinuated that his own nephew was irrelevant and also kind of crazy. I don't know. Props to Anna for, I guess, putting him in that corner. And also, again, props where it is due. I'm happy at least that TYT is calling this out and they're not downplaying this and they're not acting like the literal bullet holes or something are not real. But it, of course, begs the question, why did Chenk get so mad at Anna? I'm not exactly sure the trend that i typically see from the guy is that chank will acknowledge that parts of the left are crazy but he always tries to downplay it he always tries to act like it's a slim minority but of course if that's the case and maybe it is then why are democrats specifically democrat politicians so scared of those people right so scared of the woke so scared of the progressives and that's the issue i have which is that despite the assertion that the woke crazy leftists are a very small minority of actual people in this country, it always feels like they control the Democrat Party, or at the very least, the Democrat politicians are scared to operate, scared to actually do things that are good for their citizens because of these woke leftists, or they're scared of getting canceled on Twitter or something. I don't exactly know. That said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on this entire situation in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. If you think Hassan Piker is a lunatic, go check out our friends at VinceGold.com. And until next time, God bless and peace.